If you offer coaching or consulting to your clients, then you might want to have different ways that you present your information. So today we're talking about how you can use mind maps for your videos. Let's jump right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I help coaches and consultants add video to their business. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now I grew up during the generation of PowerPoint slides, which again later became Google Slides and then I transitioned to Canva Slides. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that format of delivery if you have a presentation to make or if you want to host a masterclass, a webinar, or if you're just jumping on Zoom with someone and want to go over some information. As I developed my own material so that I could build an online coaching business, that meant that I needed to make videos with actual training materials to upload to a course portal. When I did that is when I realized that sometimes these PowerPoint slides and Google slides start getting a little bit dry, mainly because we've been seeing this stuff for decades already. It's really hard to create slides that are any more unique than the other slides that you've seen all over the internet. This is why I started investigating how I could actually present material in a way that was full of strategy, no fluff. It gave the information to the viewer, but it didn't have to recycle all the same slides that I had been using. That's when I saw one of my mentors using mind maps and I was fascinated with how easy it became for me, the viewer, to understand the information when it was presented as a mind map. Now, in fact, I'm not new to mind maps because I've used them before and I understand how they can help you just to get a visual sense of the topic that you are thinking about. But it never occurred to me to shoot videos sharing my screen while I am building a mind map or showing someone else a mind map of the topic of that video. This is such a great way to give them a different visual. Not only that, but when you use a mind map, there is zero space for fluff anywhere. You basically just have to get to the point. So once I go through this video, you'll be able to get a sense of whether you as a presenter and your audience as the viewer might enjoy this delivery of content. Some people will really not prefer it because it's very, very linear and black and white. It is just the core information there. On the other hand, some people might actually prefer to see slides that have some graphics and some images and different types of font and all sorts of headings and subtitles. Sometimes